All right, now we're getting into a potential fight of the night. Michael Chandler versus Tony Ferguson. Michael Chandler's only been in the UFC for three fights, and he's already kind of secured himself as one of the biggest names in the lightweight division, one of the biggest names in the UFC in general, actually, to be fair, because he's done a very good job and marketed himself and made a very good job of becoming a very likable character. Obviously, the UFC likes him because he, he did the UFC a lot of favors when he when he stepped in. I think when he uh, got first signed, he was the replacement for Gaethje Khabib, and he weighed in for that. And then he uh, he fought Dan Hooker. He, 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 he beat my favorite fighter. And then he... Um, and then, he, yeah, he fought Charlie Olives for the belt. And then since then, he's put on a, a fight of the year. I think it was fight of the UFC's fight of the year, but in my opinion, a fight of the year contender against uh, Justin Gaethje, uh, which was a pretty crazy a crazy scrap, really. He's 36 years old. On the other hand, he's fighting Tony Ferguson. Oh, dude, Tony Ferguson. Unfortunately for us, we never got to see Tony Ferguson versus Khabib. That's always the one that got away. That's always the fight that got away. Unfortunately, the fight that we don't necessarily get to get to see. I don't think we're ever going to see Tony Ferguson versus Khabib, and I don't want to see Tony Tony Ferguson versus Islam Makhachev. Tony Ferguson unfortunately found himself in a three-fight losing streak, starting with the TKO loss to Justin Gaethje, where he didn't really get knocked out. It was just too much. The, the, the referee stepped in. I think it was a good ref stoppage. Um, Tony Ferguson was just taking a lot of punishment towards the end of that fight. Lost a decision to Charlie Olives when Charlie Olives almost broke his arm at the end of the first, and then he lost to Benio Darius, and Benio Darius was... um up and coming at the moment you know like potentially a title challenger in the future is Benil, um making his way up quietly in this very stacked division but yeah I'm picking Michael Chandler to win I feel like minus 400 is very very wide but I think it's mainly because the fight is three rounds if this fight was five rounds I would actually kind of um, be I wouldn't be picking Tony Ferguson but I would say to you guys maybe look at Tony Ferguson if the fight reaches the fourth round as like a live bet because Michael Chandler gassed. He did gas in the, in the fight with uh, Charlie Olives. And that was after one round. He gassed after one round Charlie Olives. I feel like three rounds with Tony Ferguson towards the end of that because Tony Ferguson will put on a very high pace. Maybe if the fight was to enter a fourth and fifth round, I would say Michael Chandler might gas out and Tony Ferguson could finish him off towards the end. But this is a three-round fight. Tony Ferguson's manager absolutely hates him for uh, putting him in a three-round fight with Michael Chandler. I think that Michael Chandler will find the KO over Tony Ferguson, but I do feel like Tony Ferguson probably has more tools to potentially win. I feel like if he does manage to get some takedowns and do do his own sort of thing there, we could see him win. Tony Ferguson, though, I feel like at this point, he's 38 years old. Unfortunately, we never saw the Khabib fight. We never got to see the one that got away. I'm picking Michael Chandler to win by KO on this one. Ferguson probably is a live underdog in the third round if Michael Chandler looks like he's gassed. Because I think Michael Chandler could gas, but I feel like it's only a three-round fight. I feel like even at the end, if this fight goes the distance, everyone's going to say, why wasn't this five rounds? Because I wish that this was five rounds. I think everyone wishes it was five rounds. But anyway, we can't um, cry about that. I feel like the under two and a half at minus 155... That's a little bit wide. Even Michael Chandler at minus 400 is a little bit wide. I don't know what Michael Chandler inside the distance will be. Maybe minus, maybe minus, two, minus 155 or under 2.5 actually ain't that bad now that I think about it, to be honest. You know what? That's actually not that bad. Minus 155 or under 2.5 is actually probably pretty good odds, to be fair. But I'm not going to be throwing any money on this one. I'm going to be sitting up. I'm going to be putting my legs up. I'm not actually because I'm live streaming a fight companion for this event, but I'm going to be enjoying the fights, you know, I'm going to be enjoying the fight with no money on it.